Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another reaction. We are checking out 17's Chung Han and Won Wu, a song that is called Last Night. Uh, very, very excited about this one. I remember checking out, I, I think there was like a teaser trailer or something to do with this uh, project. And I really love the aesthetic of, of that video. So I'm very, very excited about the actual song. So without further ado, let's get into it. Oh, whoa. Uh, did, is, is Chung Han fucking Kilgrave or something? What the fuck? Is Wan Wu Kilgrave? <laughs> what is happening? Oh, they're sleeping. They're not dead. Holy shit, this looks amazing. Did he put fucking pepper in milk or am I tripping? Wanna spice it up? The more dangerous it is, the happier I am. I too love to live dangerously. QD Austin Powers meme. For a second there, that looks like the Captain American shield, like the, the floor there. <laughs> Holy shit. Holy fuck.
Holy shit. Okay, this music video was fucking insane. I, I, I spent probably the last 30 minutes going through the music video all over again. Uh, and also looking online to find some extra bits of information about the meaning of the music video. And uh, there's a word called nox, which means night in Latin, which is used throughout this music video. And I think nox is also something that was used like in context of Harry Potter too. I saw that being mentioned. I also found um, something where one who actually talked about this music video saying that both of us have the power to manipulate using dreams. Chung Han tries to trap them in sweet dreams and I try to wake them up from the dreams. Chung Han forgot his purpose of why he's putting people to sleep so I woke him up from the dream and it ended. The beginning narration talks about this mysterious man that will basically make all of your wishes come true and will come to you in your dream. He will make those dreams sweet, almost as if he will put you, someone who is suffering, he will put them in a state of sweet dreams, whereas one will, will wake you up. It, it almost makes me feel of like someone that will make you face reality head on, the harsh reality, whereas Chung Han is going to be the one that gives you sweet dreams for you to be able to alleviate the pressure that is, you know, real life. But it seems like from what I'm looking, uh, and it's represented in the music videos where uh, you constantly see Chung Han with the people surrounding him in white fabrics, like him not being able to recognize someone that turns him into someone that is very, very hopeless. Like uh, there was uh, a mention of uh, he was searching for someone who he could not recognize. And as he goes throughout this music video trying to escape Wu, who is basically hunting him, uh, his world, his dream world is quite literally collapsing in one of the scenes with like the, the milk and like the, the plates and all that kind of stuff. Uh, you literally see Chung Han kind of like losing his marbles in a way with this shot not being able to recognize and feeling lost and then go and kill Grave and basically put in everyone to sleep, which will trigger Wu and let him know where he is. So he's no longer trying to escape him because he realizes that he's actually the person that he needs because both of them have the ability to manipulate dreams. This time, it's Wu who Chong Hun wants him to put him in a good, sweet dream which might help him see the light and recognize the person that evades him through like the dreamscape or like his memories because he constantly is looking for someone and that someone constantly is disappearing. We literally have the shot on the rooftop where one will almost catches him and he realizes that he sees the dream. He sees Chung Han trying to find this person, but this person is invincible. Invisible. He's behind that fabric. So one will see the complexity of what Chung Han is going through, which prompts Chung Han to do. Th this is an interesting uh, shot because I'm not sure if Chung Han is losing his purpose by going crazy because he can't recognize uh, the person. So he's putting everyone to sleep. Because the person that is working here, he's seemingly having a good time. And I wonder if this is a dream or not, because we also see like the animated uh, clock behind. So I'm not sure if Chang Han put him to sleep without a good reason and or that the man was actually happy before he was put to sleep. Or is this sequence of him being happy is him being happy in his sleep? You know what I mean? Like it's it's kind of it's kind of interesting to to see. So he seemingly is having like that same facial expression throughout as he's dreaming. So maybe him being with his coworkers is a dream. And then you see like this whole scene with the door to like dreamscape and all that kind of stuff, which I thought was really, really, really interesting of them going on a game of like uh, mouse and cat as this scene is happening. Like Chung Hun's dream world is literally crumbling and collapsing. He's losing control. He's losing purpose. He's realizing it. And then he goes for a Hail Mary to put everyone to sleep because he, he knows that that is what 
is basically going to uh, make him make one wolf find him. Um, and then once he finds him, the interesting part is like that same fabric that is always there around all the people that Chung Han is trying to find a specific person. The building, the towel, the, the fabric on the building falls along with Chung Han. So it's almost as if this scene is reality and the fabric has been uncovered. Chung Han is surrendering to Won Wu and Won Wu understands the pain that Chung Han is going through and therefore Won Wu instead of like I don't know killing him or like seeing the brokenness of Chung Han who's just a man that is trying to find someone basically and has just lost sight of uh his lust for finding that person basically fucked him up to such a degree where he he lost purpose of his powers and was overusing it basically so one would to re, to get do him a solid basically he puts him in a state of a sweet dream and that will potentially make chung han remember the person that has eluded him as he sips that true lemonade which does that represent the fact does that lemonade is like the equivalent of like of like that thing in inception like if it keeps on spinning then you're in a dream world and if not then you're in reality i don't know uh but it seems like chong Han wakes up and he is seemingly fine but there is a tear so maybe the tear represents the fact that he is he, he woke up from that sweet dream and he's actually in the real world now. I'm not really sure, but holy fucking shit. That was, that was amazing. I don't know if I made any sense to be brutally honest. So let me know in the comment section if maybe you, 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 you noticed something that I missed. But this was fucking incredible. This was truly fucking amazing. Like the, they turned this shit into a fucking movie. Um, and it was it was glorious. It it was truly fucking incredible. I I I don't know what else to say. Uh, I I just love the complexity of the Chung Han character, and you know, one will uh, hunting him, but then realizing as he saw like the battle that Chung Han had with the uh, figure and fabric that he couldn't identify, and that was the the inception of all of the problems and him losing control, losing side of his purpose in like this this world of making people's uh lives better by giving them a sweet dream and you know helping them he lost sight of it and turned into almost like a bit of a villain of sorts uh, so ironically the one who is given everyone sweet dreams is the one that cannot have want to save his life so he had to turn into the man that he was running away from and that's one. And he saved him. I think. I don't know. I don't know how much of it makes sense and how much of it I'm just, you know, spewing nonsense. But let me know in the comment section. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. If I made any sense, like this video, subscribe to the channel. If you're new, check out the rest of my 17 reactions on the channel in the playlist that is attached to the description of this video. Check out the Patreon if you want to see some exclusive reactions. Unfortunately, no 17 content at this moment. Uh, so please be mindful of that. Uh, make sure to check out the pinned post on Patreon. There's a full list. There's an archive, a spreadsheet that is very detailed with all of the content that I have on the channel. And if you see something that you like, consider subscribing and you will be basically supporting the production of these videos here on YouTube. And uh, that's pretty much it. Thank you for watching. Be well and safe wherever you are.